Good morning, everybody. It is about 10 o'clock, 10.07 now. It was 10 o'clock when I was making my coffee. Oh, it is, um, it was a chilly one this morning. It was 7, but it's supposed to go to 34. Currently 12 degrees outside right now. Getting ready to edit because I didn't do it last night, and I'm damn glad I didn't. The, uh, January timeline got so destroyed from, I think I did it by deleting stuff uh, previously because it kept telling me that my backups weren't found. So I literally had to wipe out all of the backups. I had to wipe, I finally wiped out that entire event and created a new February project. And so the last day of January is running off of February's timeline because I had, I had to do it. It wouldn't do anything, it wouldn't delete nothing. So a little bit of a final cut issue this morning. Um, that took me a little while to get through. Because I've been up since about 8.17. I kept trying to get up. I woke up at 5.50. I'm like, I should get up and edit. And close my eyes again. One of those type of deals. Uh, like I said, it is supposed to go into the 30s today. So I'm going to try to get the dogs out. Take them for a, a nice little somewhere walk. Hopefully some of the parks are cleaned off. And we can actually get out. So I do have a 273 mile challenge on the gold phone this week. This month. I need to actually switch arms with the watches. So, probably going to switch over to using the silver phone more for uh, vlogging. Um, I might actually switch the gold phone to the car and everything just to make it easier because of the stereo. These are the things I have to think about when I'm doing these challenges and doing the vlogs and everything. Just goofy little things. But anyway, good morning and uh, happy Tuesday. We are going to get out of the house at some point here and do some things, but uh, on the cheap side. <laughs> Also, I had to rebandage my thumb, leaving it out yesterday while on my walk and stuff. It split more. It's killing me. So, I'm trying some things here with uh, audio. Um, last month, I didn't. I don't think I had my audio set up right, and I do apologize. Let me go down here to a clip. So, let's go to audio. So, I don't... I had my equalization, I think, on loudness. That's not focusing. I do apologize here. Let's see if that'll focus. So this time I'm going on voice and I have loudness selected. I don't think I did that. I was wondering why my, because I goofed things up last month, something fierce on my paste attributes. So that's what I'm running with right now. We're going to see if it's too loud. I might have to bring my volume down because I was doing negative five until January. And then all of a sudden I wasn't doing that anymore. So I think that might've been goofing up with the road as well. You can see how tall some of my file, my audio files are getting here. They're getting in the red, which is, uh, that's overblown, which could have been wind. But uh, just for anybody new starting to vlog and stuff, when you see it going into yellow and red, it means you're, you're peaking and you're going to get distortion. Um, like I said, though, that could be some wind right there in that clip when you see it's an outdoor clip. Let me bring it up on the uh, inspector. Yeah, see, Priya's outside running. So we'll see. We'll see how this works. I know when I started, before I even started vlogging, or, you know, started doing videos and stuff, I'd ask other, you know, content creators, what are you doing? How are you doing that? And none of them would ever answer. So if any of you guys ever have a question of what I'm doing to get something to work in editing or whatnot, please, please leave a comment. I'll be more than happy to explain how I do things. It may not be the most professional way of doing it. I do what works for me. This is why I use the phones. It works for me. You could see the other day when I pulled out the RX-30, how I had to delete a bunch of clips because, well, I, it didn't record when I thought it was recording. But the stabilization is just not there. I don't think, personally, in my personal opinion, this is my personal opinion, I don't think you get much better video quality than you're getting with the iPhone 13 Pro Max on any big name brand camera. Just not going to happen. Now, without a gimbal, you know, this is, I mean, I'm using the, the, the shift cam. Now, you can really tell when I go into and use the actual gimbal, the Osmo Mobile 5, you can see that it definitely does get, uh, you know, motions are just crisp. And when you're running in 4K 30, it is a benefit. When you're in 4K 60, you have a little more forgiveness with motion. But uh, unfortunately, progress doesn't go that high unless you run in 1080 and it degrades just way too much in my opinion. All right, so one other thing I wanna go over, if you ever have a clip that is sideways, uh, but you've actually filmed it um, landscape like you should, um, right there is my settings. So rotate negative 90, because it depends which direction, it's gonna be negative 90 or 90. 
depending which way it's flipped. And then I bump it up 180%, and then you end up with a full frame. So, but uh, yeah. Alright, so I'll just show you what I'm talking about. So, ah, this clip right here is sideways. Let me get up and lock it. Boom, it's hard to do. Lodging through the phone. And then you're gonna go over to here. Now, like I said, it depends which way the clip is flipped, which way you're gonna go, but this one is definitely a negative 90. And that brings it back to that. Puppy's big ears. And then this one here. Am I on it? M180. And boom, full screen. And so far, I mean, from what I can tell, I'm not losing any quality. All right, it's afternoon and we're finally getting outside. This is what I'm talking about. Of course, it just finally hit 30 degrees outside. So, these guys are going to walk at home so they can just have it out. And they go bodies. And then we're going to head out. Got a couple stops to make. A little windy today. Uh, I really don't want to bring the microphones with me. That's just way too much. But I kind of want to test my new audio sets to see if it works better. I'm going to have to run back up and get them. Oh boy. Now the wind has kind of calmed down a little bit here on our walk finally. It's just too windy to, to film anything without the, having the freaking microphones on it. A beautiful day though. That wind would cut down. That sun is oh gorgeous. Where are you going? Where are you venturing to there big dog? Go on Mateo. Venture with sister. Yeah, smelly doggy stuff, huh? Okay. I don't know if it does warm up a little bit. This snow might start going away. It's definitely softening up. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I didn't bother getting any of the other camera equipment out, and I didn't turn the stereo off, so this is probably gonna shut me down here. But we're on our way out. Oh, maybe I saved it. I think I might have done it. Yay, go me. Looks like that's crooked. All right, got some exercises in. Didn't get very far, but we are on our way. Our two first, guys. Uh, I think go pull money and then deposit money and then yeah, park. Take a bit of a walk and uh, yeah, try to get this day moving a little bit. Uh, what's going on? But I see emergency equipment down here. It's been a lot of fires lately. That's awesome. They still haven't bothered plowing or shoveling or nothing. It is. Uh, <laughs> that ain't gonna work. Not with these two, the way they pull and carry on. I'm not going on my face. The object is not to get injured. So, where do we go from here? I wonder if down by work is plowed. I see people on it with their dogs all the time. Yeah, maybe we can stop at. Uh, over at Indian Park and see what's going on there. Gotta try to do something. These guys want to get out. Even they're having fun being on the road, but they want to do more than that. Terry uh, was showing me she wants to try to do like behind the stove, like the backsplash. And I don't like going to our own store during uh, days off, so I said, well, it's, I mean, it's warming up outside. It's 37. So hopefully, when we get back, we can maybe go somewhere or walk at home or whatnot, but. Um, drive down Lewisburg here and check the Walmart for they're like peel and stick backsplashes they're like they look like what we have but there's white in too I think would look nice to match with the stove but I kind of want to look at some of the photos I took because I think there might be a gap between where the countertop ends and the cabinets uh, see if maybe I can't fill that whole do the whole thing. I don't know. I didn't really talk to her about it, but it didn't seem like it was too overpriced at Walmart. I don't know how many comes in a pack, but we're gonna look and see. 
Unfortunately, for some really weird reason, and I'm wondering if it's not because my phone's not on Wi-Fi, my Apple payment would not go through instantly. It still has not. Uh, my Apple card really took me off because it was quite a substantial amount that I really didn't want to do. But I was hoping to get my higher percentage of cash back. Unfortunately, I used my debit card, so if the damn thing gets hacked, this will be the third time in three goes. Back in a thousand. All right, I feel like a dummy. I should have looked online myself prior to going to a store. That is not carried in store, especially for $5.99. $5.99 is one 12 inch stick on block. A five pack is $27. The one they carry here has different colors in it. It's not right. Um, and that's ridiculous. I'll look on Amazon, but for something a little closer to, in fact terry said there was one on amazon that went with the the actual contact paper we got so, but yeah the puppies and i needed a ride and then we've uh, nuked the challenge at least for today and i'm continuing to nuke it because I get myself ahead it's nice out don't get me wrong it's just there's no places that are cleared to take them for a decent walk except at home and that's boring i'm tired of walking at home you got a stop sign, pal, so you better do it. All right, I promised them cheeseburgers. I'm not getting myself one. I'm just getting myself a cup of coffee from McDonald's. Um, I might get my veggie from Subway, though, because that was freaking amazing the other day. I don't know where there's a Subway around here, but but mainly I want to look for my uh, buffalo uh, chicken dip uh, chips. I don't know if all of them carry them or in that. It, I looked online. It shows up as, of course, everything shows up at Walmart, but no Walmarts have them. I've never seen them in our store, which our store doesn't always get half the good crap. Apparently, there was a push for the Buffalo Ranch Doritos to come back because they discontinued them. They said lack of sales. Lack of sales. They couldn't keep them on the damn shelf. I don't know what, what delusional <coughs> comment that was. Oh my god, I don't know what, what restaurant I'm smelling, but oh, it smells so good. I'm really not that hungry, even. Time to head home. All right, I just ran into Best Buy. They have the satellite add on speakers for my subwoofer or my soundbar, and I'm like, eh, it's not on sale. If it was on sale, maybe if they had an open box, maybe, but online there's an open box for like $50 cheaper. Don't need it. Don't, don't need it. And uh, just got it. I said it's going to be a no spend year. And, well, not that it's been a no spend, but definitely a reduced spend. So, bragged about the Apple Card. Now you make a payment and boom, it goes right through. And it's been like, I don't know, two hours. It still hasn't gone through. It really, really screwed me up today, too. Because then on top of that, you know, Subway and Goodwill both came out of my bank account, which was not a planned event. <sighs> Watch, I'll get home, hit on Wi-Fi, and it'll pay it. I, I don't know what's... Unless unless I've made too many payments this month. I've only made two, but I think I made it less than seven days. That might be causing it. Because it literally says on there it could take up to two, three days for it to show up on your account. That's never happened.
home for quite a while. Relaxing, importing, especially all that time lapse, time lapse crap I did. I thought the sky just looked amazing and it was a cool ride home. Come on, Bria, we're not going that way. We're going this way, come on. These guys did not get a whole bunch of exercise today. Yeah, neither did I. It's funny because I just I was going through the health app to see what the difference between health and fitness are. Because um, it all feeds the Samsung health and I'm trying to make sure see if they're if they were correlating. And here there's a cardio measurement of your oxygen levels. And according to my uh, fitness thing or my health thing, it's telling me I'm below uh, average on my oxygen intake during an exercise. I don't know what this dog is doing, but you gotta come on. Come on, we're going for a lap. Let's go. Come on. Don't put your ears down. Come on. Get moving. You're fine. I'm being silly. You got to start moving, Priya. Now you got this thing all messed up. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's get a walk. Let's go. Come on. I don't know what her problem is. She's like just being weird. The other thing that has me very baffled is the fact that, okay, so the mileage is 273.8 miles in 28 days. So that's about 10 miles a day. Um, over 22 miles in a day, and it's telling me I still need it like 9 miles a day. What are you doing, Bria? Why are we not walking? Why are we not walking? You're sniffing. Okay. Go potties. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know why it's not giving me... It seems like 20 miles would easily put me way ahead and it's not. I didn't do anything. Alright, anyway guys, I'm going to focus on giving this dog a quick walk, then I gotta take the tail out, and get this part imported, and then get editing, and get myself to bed because I gotta be up at 4.30 in the morning for work tomorrow, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the morning, as always. Good night. That freaked Priya out. Mateo, he decides to investigate it, because he's not a chicken little. And there was a cat that scared the crap out of her at one point, too. Oh, fun times with her. Yeah.